Hi <laughs> there. So in this tutorial, I'm going to explain you how you can install web to pi Python web framework. First, go to web to pi.com. You can also search for this on google.com and from there you can launch into this website. So what this framework is, it allows you to create uh, web applications, websites, database apps and you can also do a lot of things with the help of web to buy and now let's see how to do the installation and how to execute it on your own local server go to the download link after that what you have here is um, options for using the version for normal testers and developers developers get the recent version like in git mercurial epidoc etc for testers it is from windows and mac and also from source code for normal users you can use the version that you can install from pip or you can say other quick install service like easy install so if you are using on Linux I suggest you to download the source code from this link just click on it after you download you have to extract the folder in www under under slash dev so inside that www dash dev folder you will find web to pi folder double click on it and you'll find that you have a bunch of folders and few files now open command prompt okay now let's navigate to this directory cd www dash dev then cd web to pi okay now we are in this directory now type python web to pi dot pi this will open a application that basically lets you run the server and you can choose the password okay and just click on start server after that you'll find that traffic sign is shown also new page will open on which you will find this IDE basically this IDE lets you create your own web to buy applications and you can check your site here just go back again okay so just click on my sites will be inside the dashboard same password that you have set for the server inside which you will find that you have this examples folder and welcome folder now all you have to do is you have to click on the respective sites So this is the example site which is also official site and then we have welcome page okay now if you want to check the online examples which we already tried here uh, let's start with controller our Python file will be displayed here. You can also edit and save it. As you can see, this is our controller. 
shows us what exactly goes inside the file. So when you want to create your own application, first thing you to do, have to do is go to this admin dashboard, then type the name of your application like hello world. Okay. Click on create. Okay, after that it will be shown. Okay, let's have it created properly. Now uh, hello world is created. Okay. So what we'll get here is model controller and view. In order to manage that we have to edit these files and we have to check for the interface okay so when we do slash we will be redirected here okay then we have to do it is our de default page we have to edit this and we have to uh, change for our website likewise you have to also use the uh, database permissions in model in db.py you have to choose the database and give the path whatever may be your database be it sql no sql like mongodb etc so let's get back to our admin interface we have already application here which is hello world we can also disable it here a single instance of our server can host these multiple websites also you'll find the traffic on our server and if you know python programming language then creating the website is not that hard all you have to do is go with the model view controller for each application and display your website now if I want to stop all of this all I have to do is stop the server let's close this now if you are having old version of Python then I suggest you to upgrade before using this and you'll find that you can use this server for multiple IPs also for IP version 4 and 6 as well so this is pretty much our introduction to web 2 pi in short I then went on uh, our code and MSC structure for simplicity and this is just installation tutorial in future tutorials I will go through the designing of simple web app and then deploying it on let's say system like Heroku or DigitalOcean so I will cover that part in future tutorials I hope you find this tutorial helpful see you later